It began very early in 1968 when the people of Fairbanks were faced with the closing of St. Joseph's Hospital on July 1st, and there was no substitute to replace the facility. Four previous attempts to build a new hospital had failed. Now, four years and eight and a half million dollars later, the people of Fairbanks have a new hospital. And that new hospital was open to the public for inspection and tours yesterday. The parking lot at the new facility was jammed nearly all day, as it seemed most of Fairbanks turned out to tour the facility. The hospital had a much more finished look to it than it had the last time I went through the building in February. The addition of the new furniture and installation of hospital equipment and carpets seemed to add to the atmosphere of an entire community's pride that was unmistakably in the air. The official ribbon-cutting ceremony took place shortly after 3 with the hospital foundation's president, Dr. William Wood, the foundation's first vice president, Ron Nerlin, second vice president, Bob Claus, secretary, Ethel Harris, and the building committee's chairman, Harry J. Red Porter, doing the honors. Following the ribbon cutting, the tours continued, and at 5 o'clock, a family participation potluck dinner was held at Lathrop High School. Women for the day's activities, Mrs. Kathleen Mike Dalton, probably summed up the feeling that was so prevalent during yesterday's ceremony when she said, In some ways, it's been a little unorthodox, but we have accomplished our goal, a new hospital, and the spirit of the community has been great. For Broadcast Center News, this is Pat Egan.